How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we're going to be rebuilding the Washington Nationals, a team that I said that I really wanted to bring to you guys. And um, let, let's do it. We're definitely I'm looking forward to trying out this team, see how we can rebuild them. They got some pretty good youth prospects that I want to use like Victor Robles and Juan Soto. But before we talk about this team any further, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you are new and enjoy the content. And also in the comment section below, let me know some rebuild challenges as well as some teams you would like to see rebuilt i think we're down to eight teams that we haven't rebuilt because i know we did the mets we've done the phillies the cubs reds brewers are all done the pirates cardinals we haven't done the diamondbacks so that's one the dodgers is two um red sox yankees is three and four the indians is five the tigers is six the royals is seven and the twins is eight so we're down to eight teams that oh wait no and the astros so nine so nine teams, eight or nine teams that we have not done for rebuilds yet. So definitely let me know which one of those eight teams you guys want left. And if you guys want to see some more rebuilds, I will definitely bring them to you. If this video, let's try to get it to 100 likes before the end of the weekend, which is only one day. But let's try to hit 100 likes today. And I'll definitely try to bring that next rebuild to you guys as soon as possible. I want to get all of the rebuilds done by the end of the month so let's hop into this one I, mean, I feel like i've been talking a little bit too long already and uh, let's let's talk about this team a little bit i'm using the updated osfm v 4.5 roster it just went live on the 8th so if you guys don't have that one go and check it out so looking at the starting pitchers max scherzer phenomenal pitcher in real life and the thing is he's 33 so he'll probably stay around that mid 90s for another season or two and then he'll start to decrease so it's one of those things where he does have a very very big contract and i don't know if we it's like we we should keep him but i don't know if it's the smart idea going forward same with steven strasberg another very very big contract are we going to be able to keep him around um and him and like work with his contract and still be able to bring players in so I do want to keep both of them, but it may not be financially like possible. So then we have Tanner Roark, um, Jeremy Hellickson, Joe Ross, Eric Fetty, who pitched against the Cubs tomorrow. I think he pitches against the Cubs on Sunday. Um, but I, I guess he's having a pretty decent uh, season so far. And then down here, no one really too exciting. We have Kelvin Herrera. Um, I, I do want to bring him back. He's a phenomenal pitcher for Sim style franchise. Joaquin Benoit, I want to get rid of. Really, no one in the bullpen gets me too excited. I do want to keep Kelvin Herrera, and I do want to keep Coda Glover. But outside of that, most of these guys are expendable. And Sean Doolittle, if I can, I'll keep him around. But he's normally one of those pitchers that starts to decrease in rating at this age. So it might be time to find a new closer as well. Catcher, I know... There's just not really too many exciting catchers there. We definitely need a new first baseman as well. Um, second base, Wilmer Defoe is not bad, but we obviously would like a little bit, a little bit more exciting of a second baseman. Anthony Rendon is a very good third baseman. I want to keep him around. The thing is, with the contracts that we have, it's going to be difficult to work around. Trey Turner's good. Um, he his contract isn't too bad. Carter Keyboom. We have him who should start to develop pretty quickly. Juan Soto in left field, which is good. Center field, we have Victor Robles who should develop to the mid 70s by like season three. Um, I'll probably rid of Adam Eaton. Just, I don't wanna keep that contract around. We also do have Michael Taylor. And then the big thing is keeping around Bryce Harper. And I don't know if we have the money to do that. That's why I'm trying to kind of figure out how we're gonna be able to bring back Anthony Rendon, Harper, keep on Max Scherzer and Steven Strasburg on the that like $30 million contract. So uh, if this is a team that's definitely you need to figure out contract management. They're very similar um, to the Los Angeles Angels. So I've been talking for about five minutes already, just talking about the team, talking about contracts. So I'm definitely gonna be getting rid of some players that have high contracts. So let me get those trades done. Talk to you guys in a sec. Trade one is to find a new first baseman. I'm gonna be moving Ryan Zimmerman, who has um, another year left on his contract. So he's got about 10 million um, the next two years. And 
opening up that salary space is definitely going to help us bring in some new talent along with keeping Bryce Harper and Anthony Rendon. We're going to be bringing in um, the A potential Tyler Austin, who was recently traded to the Twins at the deadline. So I think getting a younger first baseman when we still have Mark Reynolds here, um, who, to be honest, his contract isn't that bad. I'll probably let him see out this year and then just use Tyler Austin to let him develop. So that's the trade one. Let's hop into the second trade. Second trade we're going to be making is for a new catcher. We're getting rid of Matt Wieters along with a player who has about a three million contract for next season and Howie Kendrick. We're bringing in Omar Navarez of the White Sox, 26 years old, 70 overall, B potential. I know he develops into a pretty well-rounded catcher. So bringing him in for the foreseeable future fills that catcher spot and we don't really have to worry about it going forward. And now we're getting rid of more of these players who have pretty stupid contracts that I don't really wanna pay. So, so far so good. Let's get rid of some more of these bigger contracts. The third trade we're making is ridding of um, Adam Eaton, who has about a 5.5, 5.4 million dollar contract over the next two years. He is also 29. Um, with that being said, we're also adding in a catcher in Roddy Reed and one of our lower rated players in KJ Harrison. We are bringing in Mitch Hanniger of the Mariners, 27 years old, B potential 79 overall. With this move, we're probably going to move Bryce Harper to center. Um, he has been doing that a little bit this season, so um, that allows us to play him in center. Um, so Bryce in center, Hanniger in right, and then Juan Soto in left. Really the big thing now is moving some of these aging relievers. So let me do that real quick. Um, we're going to be moving a aging pitcher in Joaquin Benoit, the 40 year old 80 overall, but we're going to be moving him to the pirates along with Rafael Bautista, um, 25 years old, 60 overall B potential could get good, but I don't really see him, um, being able to move out Victor Robles, Juan Soto, Bryce Harper, or Mitch Hanniger away from any spots anytime soon. So I'm okay with letting him go. And then we let, um, one of our lower rated pitchers, um, and Luis Reyes go as well. We're going to be going after Kyle Crick, who um, I saw him develop into a really good pitcher in one of the last rebuilds we did. So I really wanted to see if he could do the same. And um, hopefully, hopefully it works out for us. Hopefully it, it definitely does. Um, so I think for now, I'm okay with the trades we made just for season one. I don't want to go overboard with them. So let me move the squad around. And I'll show you guys what we're working with for season one. Season one's looking like this. Scherzer, Strasburg, Rourke, Ross, and Fetty. In the bullpen, we got Gott, Crick, Solis, Holland, Glover, Herrera, and Doolittle. So definitely need some improvement on the three through five starters, as well as in the bullpen a little bit. Um, lineup wise, I think we got a couple decent looking pieces for the future. Trey Turner, Hanniger, Harper, Rendon, if we can keep them. Um, Soto's definitely going to develop and then um, hopefully Tyler Austin develops as well. So I think we're looking okay. Um, it'll, it'll be difficult. It shouldn't be too difficult in the East. We do have to come up against the Braves and the Phillies. Um, so maybe a wild card spot. It'll be a tough first season. So let's see how it goes. Alrighty, draft day. Season's not been going too good, so we definitely need we need a little bit of a bright spot. We are picking 27th, so it might be a little difficult to find a bright spot picking this late in the draft. I'm going to give Robert Fitzgerald a pick. Um, everyone that I have fully scouted isn't too appealing at all to draft, so we're going to go with him um, just based on his fielding stats. I think he looks like a pretty decent fielder for the future. We're going to go Miguel Zavala here out of Puerto Rico for the second round. Albert Anderson is going to be our third round pick. I'm feeling very pessimistic about this like it's just it's not going well rich carlisle doesn't look too bad on a hit hitting like hitting wise so he might actually be a decent little first baseman prospect i'm gonna try i'm gonna look at chad morris he doesn't look too bad but again i don't have him scouted a lot of the players we have actually i think all of the players we've drafted aren't going to be scouted unfortunately all right we'll give roger diaz a go even though he's probably not gonna be that good so let's look at the draft picks see how it went see how it went to be honest not too bad. Robert Fitzgerald, our first overall, or not our first pick, but our overall pick, but our first round pick looks pretty solid um, for the future. He is 51 overall, but he is 86 potential, which isn't, which isn't too bad. 86 is pretty solid. Our next pick is a 64 overall relief pitcher in Miguel Zavala. He's a lefty and he's got 89 potential. So that's, 
that was a decent little little draft third pick was albert anderson the shortstop he's 50 overall and he's got 82 um potential and then looking at the rest of the picks nothing too too special roger diaz is a 72 overall so maybe we'll give him a, a little pickup and then the rest of the guys um just aren't too special so uh we'll still sign him up but yeah so let's get to the deadline day and i'll see how we'll see how we're looking at the deadline it's not going too good we're 18 and a half games out in the east and in the wild card we're sitting about six and a half out we're sitting at 48 and 58 season season's been a little rough um we've had a couple players in and out of the injuries um but as you can see max scherzer is already starting to decrease and that's what i was kind of worried about um he's pitching pretty decently with i mean he's got a losing record but he's got under a three era but he's decreasing in rating so it's one of those things where i know in real life he's a phenomenal pitcher but maybe while he still has some value we should probably trade him um and then maybe use that cap space that we open up to get a really good ace um we do have steven strasberg who's actually going up um a 3.14 era is not horrible at all even a 3.6 for tanner rourke isn't isn't horrible to see um joe ross okay it's an okay and then eric fetty is is he's having a pretty rough pretty rough one coda glover is having a pretty rough one too sammy solis middle of the road greg holland somehow is going up even though he's got a 442 era kyle crick kyle crick might be someone i need to put down in the minors for a little bit to let develop trevor got is just decreasing like and it doesn't help that he's probably been hurt for most of the season. Kelvin Herrera is, mm, and then Sean Doolittle is going up. Um, he's got a .56 ERA, so he's 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 doing his job. Looking at the squad, you guys can see what's going on up in the up in the corners there. Um, as long as players are developing, I'm cool with that. Um, Hanniger's going up, which is good because I want I want him to go up. Rendon's going down, which is another player that usually kind of decreases, so I'm a little worried about that. Do I keep him? Do I kind of trade him while he still has some value? Mark Reynolds is going down, which is expected. Juan Soto is going up, but maybe I need to let him develop in the minors for the rest of the year. Omar Narvaez is up to a 74, which is good to see. And Trey Turner's going down, but that that's because he just came back from injury. Um, Tyler Austin's a 69 still, but he's... He's still developing. It's it's a little bit of a rough year so far. A little bit of a rough year. I might let Fetty sit the rest of the year in the minors just to develop um, pitching pitching ability a little bit. So I'm definitely going to try to help out the rotation right now. And maybe add a couple pieces. So let's see what we can do at the deadline. So the trade we're making is with the Cubs for Jose Quintana, David Bodie who's kind of like turned out to be a uh, kind of like a cult hero for the Cubs this year and Jason Hayward. So I know I wanted to move Scherzer while he still had some value and this way we're getting a, we're getting a pretty decent pitcher in Jose Quintana. The big thing with Scherzer is his contract is so bad that it's really hard to trade him and find a team that can take on his salary and still give me a highly rated player or two or three. So this is what we're going to go with. Um, it gives us some players with value as well. I do want to keep on to Quintana, but um, I do want to move Hayward because he has a potential and it allows us to bring in someone else. So we're going to be getting, bringing in Max Muncy for Jason Hayward. Um, like I said, I wanted to move him on and once we traded for him, he kind of dropped an overall and Max Muncy's contract isn't that big. So, and he's 85 overall, B potential, has got some pop on the back, can play second, third, and first. So, that's, it's looking like that's, that's definitely going to help us out with Rendon also dropping in rating. I don't know if we're going to be able to bring him back on the cheap. So, and if I want to bring him back, is he going to keep his rating? That, that, you know, I'm kind of thinking about that stuff too. So, um, we're looking a little bit better after those trades. I, I do really want to kind of bolster this bullpen so let me see if i can do that all right another trade we're gonna be making is for archie bradley 25 years old a potential 84 overall the big thing with him right now is his contract 
Um, he's expecting more money. He does hit arbitration this year, so we should be able to pay him a little bit more. We're getting rid of Matt Reynolds. Um, the big piece for this trade is Luis Garcia, but with the newest addition of David Bodie, we should be okay at the second base spot um, because David Bodie should continue to increase in rating. We're also getting rid of um, Wander Suero, who, who is a B potential player, but he's 26 and 55, so I don't really see him developing too much more. So hopefully Archie Bradley helps us out with the bullpen. So let me move the lineup around. I'll give you a quick look at it, and then we'll get through the rest of the season. All right, so this is a quick peek at the roster for the rest of the season. At this point, I've kind of accepted that we probably won't make the playoffs um, unless something crazy happens. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. I'm expecting us to be a bit of a just hopefully just things get better type thing. So hopefully players progress and stuff like that. So that's how we're looking for the rest of the year. See you guys at the end of the season. So 82 and 80 is where we sit at the end of the first season. A definite pickup um, the second half of the season. It looked like we definitely turned it around. Things got a little bit better. League leaders wise, Bryce Harper had the best war and awards. You can see Michael Taylor had a gold glove. Overall, um, a lot better second half of the season. 20 games out of the East. And in the wild card, we finished four games out, so definitely an improvement in uh, in um, you know the from first half to second half, a huge improvement. So looking at the squad, you can see how everything's going. Um, Quintana, he's going up in rating, um, even though he had a, he had a rough year. He had a rough year. I know we traded for him when he was in like the 80s, so hopefully he'll turn that around. Steven Strasburg's continuing to go up in rating. He had a pretty pretty good year. You know, a 2.83 ERA is very good to see. Um, and he's our new ace. So we're, we're, we're going to have to expect him to do well um, for us. Tanner Rourke, actually not, not a horrible year. 3 ERA, 11 and 9, 200 innings. That's, that's, that's a respectable year um, for someone that I didn't really expect much from at all. Uh, Joe Ross obviously has a lot of room to develop. Um, an average year, nothing too special. Jeremy Hellickson, I brought up and I put Fetty down in the minors. And Jeremy Hellickson for second half of the season, that's a pretty respectable year. You know, under three ERA, um, not too bad. Quintana, we've already looked at. Sammy Solis, okay. Greg Holland seems to have it a good overall, even though his ERA is kind of high. Kelvin Herrera. I mean, he's still going up in rating, which is what I want to see because I definitely want to bring him back. Trevor Gott, mm, um, Archie Bradley, he's gone up in rating, um, but you can kind of see his potential still going down. And Sean Doolittle is kind of plateaued, I think, in rating and everything. Blown saves only one. So he had actually had a very productive year. Looking at the year, Michael Taylor's going down in rating, so I probably won't want to bring him back next year. Not for 2.4 million. Um, Max Muncy, his potential's gone do down, unfortunately. I hope I hope that changes. I definitely hope that changes. Um, Bryce Harper is going up, so I I want I want him back next year. He hit 30 homers, almost 100 RBIs. Hanniger, come on, we're we're gonna need you to keep your potential. Rendon is still going down in rating, so if I can get him for an okay contract, I'll bring him back. Mark Reynolds isn't going to be coming back, even though his his year was pretty good. 33 homers, 88 RBIs, 300 average. That's pretty good. That was pretty good. Juan Soto, he's he's still a work in progress, so hopefully he does pretty well. Narvaez, 74, pretty decent. And Trey Turner, he's starting to go down in rating, so eh, not what I want to see. David Bodie, an okay year. Um, Pedro Severino is our backup catcher. Didn't do too bad. And Wilmer Defoe is not a bad little platoon player. Looking at the rest of the squad, um, Eric Fede, 66. Mm, wish it was a little bit better. We do have um, Seth Romero, who's a 69, and Will Crow is a 68, which is good to see. Kyle Crick, I put in the minors to kind of get him back on track for development, and he looks like he's kind of getting it back. Coda Glover's potential's gone down, so I might have to figure something out with him. Um, I put down Tyler Austin to see if that would help with his development, so hopefully that does. And then 
Carter Key booms up to a 67, so I'm definitely gonna keep my eye on him. Um, Victor Robles is a 65. Anybody else? Not really. So that's season one. You can see the playoff picture there. Let's just sim it through it. Season two, after how season one finished, I feel a little bit more optimistic. You can see the Astros defeated the Phillies. Um, who they, the Phillies actually traded Aaron Nola to the Blue Jays. So um, that was pretty interesting to know about. But that's that's season one. I'm feeling a lot more optimistic about it. So let's hop into season two and see how it goes. So for arbitration, Archie Bradley, Anthony Rendon, Trey Turner, um, Joe Ross, and then um, Solis and Defoe. The big thing for us was bringing back Harper. So I didn't really want to move anything until... Um, like I didn't want to make any contract offers until we got him signed. So this is... The, we, we got him signed so that's that's what I was hoping for the most like that that was what I was looking for the most I didn't want to offer any contracts or anything until we got him signed back so that was the big acquisition in the offseason let's see if I can get any other contracts sorted alrighty so my offers are Muncie, Soto, Hanniger, Crick, Narvaez, Severino, Romero, Bodie and then the um, Coda Glover's one, Stevenson's one, Keyboom and then I think Fetty, Tyler Austin. I think that's the big ones. Oh, Victor Robles. So that's that's really about it there. So looking at the squad, you can see pitching could use a little bit of help. Um, I don't think I'm gonna bring back Tanner Rourke because he is 32. Um, I do want. I got Kelvin Herrera signed up for a good a good long time. Um, Archie Bradley should be coming back based on arbitration. Um, Sean Doolittle, I offered him a pretty long contract, so as long as he continues to develop, we're good there. So we got Herrera, Archie Bradley, and Doolittle back. Um, the big ones here now are just kind of fill up these spots here. And then in the lineup, I might move Muncie to play first until, Ty um, until Austin's ready, Tyler Austin's ready. Um, and then that means we just kind of need a second baseman who's going to be you know reliable so maybe that's the move to find a new second baseman free agency we found hiroki tamori i'm gonna sign him up he's got b potential might as well how right, we're going to the rockies to start season two for tyler anderson 29 years old 82 overall pitcher um we're getting rid of one of our catchers and spencer keyboom um we still have pedro severino as well as omar narvaez so i kind of want to just keep those two and let spencer keyboom move on we're also getting rid of one of the players that we drafted in rich carlisle as well as a starting pitcher in Austin Voth. So that's who we're moving for our fifth starter since we let Tanner Rourke go. All right, we're going for Sonny Gray of the Twins um, as a long reliever. Um, we're getting rid of Kian Norfolk as well as those two aging uh, relievers in Sammy Solis. We actually had a pretty solid year um, last year. Well, not solid, but it was it was you know pretty okay like it was it was not too bad and then greg, greg holland is another arm that i'm ridding up i'm kind of thinking i want to keep greg holland now the more i think about it um or keep sammy solis and let greg holland go because solis is a lefty so i wonder if there's a way to make this work Alrighty, so we're getting sunny gray from the twins in return for brady dragmeyer um, Jose Marmolejos and then um, Greg Holland so it's kind of giving us that long reliever that we didn't have last year and I think those two new additions really help us so alrighty so we're moving on from uh, Trey Turner I like I like the speed aspect but you, you can't pass on Paul DeYoung in a sim style franchise he's just too good of a shortstop so we're getting rid of Trey Turner as well as um, Kyan Norfolk and Talmito Augustin. So, I mean, two players that weren't going to help us in the long run. Trey Turner and Paul DeYoung basically just swapping there. I'm liking the trade. I feel like it's going to help us add a little bit more pop to the lineup. Um, and I feel like we're feeling, we're looking pretty good now. Like, that's a, that's a good looking squad now. DeYoung, Muncy, Harper, Hanniger, Rendon, Soto. Narvaez, Austin. That's a good looking team. And then you can see the the pitching rotations looking looking a lot better. We got Solis, Sonny Gray. Um, I'm really tempted to move Solis down here. That way we can just let these guys 
do the work. So Sonny Gray, Herrera, Crick, Solis, Glover, Bradley, and Doolittle. The the pitching rotation doesn't look too bad. Um, you know, everyone's developing, everyone's looking good. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Um, I'm really liking what I'm seeing. Um, we don't have a backup outfielder, so I'm I'm gonna make the the big leap, and we're moving Victor Robles to the majors. Um, that that's the big one for us that he's gonna come to the majors. So, with that being said, I think that's the season good and ready to go. Um, yeah, I think I think that's it. Like. The, the team's looking good. We have, you know, Victor Robles up now. So we have that backup outfielder. Um, the pitching rotation looks nice. This, the bullpen's looking healthy. Um, some of the prospects that we have. Fetty's going to stay in the minors for a little bit more. Romero and Crow as well. Um, no one really for the bullpen or catching. David Bodie's in the majors. Um, we got these two guys down here. Um, Key Boom's developing still, so we'll, we could have him in backup. Stevenson, um, Victor Victor Mesa, who I signed from free agency, and Daniel Johnson. So, I mean, we have a couple prospects, but for right now, I'm thinking the team's looking really good for Season 2. So, let's let's just get to trade deadline day, see how it goes. Season 2 is going pretty good. 63-43. and 43. We're 11 games up in the East. Um, the CPU drafted pretty poorly, but Peter Drew, 72 overall first baseman already. 89 potential i will take that for sure we also do have drew Catamer, a 53 overall 79 potential catcher and then ivan hernandez who's a 72 overall 77 potential first baseman okay so a, cu a couple okay picks um looking at the rotation you can see how everyone's doing so far not 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 too bad not too bad at all um joe ross is having a a, a good year compared to what he did last year um, Quintana's definitely having a pretty good season 12 and 5 3 3 2 ERA is pretty solid Tyler Anderson's doing pretty good not as good as last year but still holding it down Jeremy Hellickson is not not doing horrible I mean about where I expect for a four um, starter and then Eric Fetty had to come in because Steven Strasburg broke his ankle so he's almost back um, you can see he was having an, an okay season, you know, four and four, two, five, three ERA is pretty good. Max Muncy broke his arm. Um, so he was having a little bit of a rough season. Um, so he's starting to decrease mostly because he broke his, broke his arm. And then, um, that was it. So we lost those two guys to injury, um, this, this season, um, looking at the squad, you guys can see what's going on here. We're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. Wilmer Defoe's up to an 80. Rendon is, you know, doing what Rendon does. He's kind of decreasing. So I might, I might move on from Anthony Rendon. Bryce Harper is a 96. He's having a, a solid year. He's hitting 360. 287 for DeYoung, which is what I would expect from him. 23 homers. He's an 86 overall. Mitch Hanniger is not really turning out to what I, to be what I thought he would. I was hoping he would turn out to be a little bit better. Tyler Austin's up to a 76, which is good to see. Juan Soto's an 82. Um, Narvaez is a 76 and Bodie is a 76 so not too bad Victor Robles is a 72 and Severino is a 74 um, not too bad not too bad um, let's see here oh, I would even look at the uh, the bullpen the bullpen Sonny Gray still around that 78 mark is doing okay Kyle Crick is developing really well his ERA is very high but he's up to an 80 so hopefully he can continue to develop well um sammy solis is starting to go down now coda glover is going up which is good um and then archie bradley eh, can get a little rock there so maybe we'll let kelvin herrera be the setup man and doolittle doolittle is really consistent holy cow okay okay i'm liking what i'm seeing um, Strasburg's almost back. Muncy's almost back. So once we get those two, we'll be a lot, a lot more like, we'll be better off. So uh, let's, uh, I don't, maybe move on from Rendon. You know, like don't get me wrong, he's he's putting up good numbers, but if he's gonna decrease, I don't want to keep him around. 
So maybe maybe move on from Rendon. Let's see if we can find a new third baseman. Alrighty, so the trade we're gonna be making is for Jonathan Scope of the Brewers. And we're gonna move him to third base. He has a little bit of power, uh, good fielding and an arm. He's hitting better than what Rendon is doing. Um, 21 homers and 77 RBIs compared to 15 and 50. And his average is about 11 points higher. Plus he should be a little bit cheaper as well once we hit free agency with him. Um, so we should be able to bring him back. Um, since we're paying five million for Rendon, we should probably pay about the same for Scope. So let's uh, let's make that trade probably straight up. I'm okay with that. That way we can um, bring in Scope to play third base, and that definitely that definitely helps us out going forward. So that's as you can see, Scope's already up to an 85, and when we traded for him, he was an 80. So that that's probably going to be the one trade that I do. Um, I want to see how the bullpen continues to progress. Um, once Strasburg's back, the rotation will look a lot better. So that's the trade I'm making at the deadline. Let's see how the rest of the season plays out. As you can see, we finished 104 and 58 and won the division. We'll be taking on the winner of the wild card game. So we definitely had a good season. The playoff bracket is on screen. So we're taking on the Cubs of the Cardinals. Definitely going to be a good series. Bryce Harper had a killer year. Batting average, home runs, run scored, slugging, OPS, war. Um, and Quintana winning percentage and wins. Okay, so 351 for Harper. Um, what else did he have? Home runs 42 for Harper, 118 ribbies. Okay, runs 116. Trey Turner had he actually had a decent year um, in St. Louis, but he's going down in rating. So ha. <laughs> um, uh, let's see here. I'm looking for 86 from Harper. Harper's on base percentage, Narvaez as well. Um, Harper for slugging, OPS, wins. Ooh, Helixson too. Okay, okay, Helixson. Um, Quintana only had five losses. Doolittle had 51 saves. How many did he blow? Nine, okay, but I mean, 51 saves, that's, that's still pretty solid. All right, okay. Awards, Bryce Harper won Silver Slugger, MVP, um, Hank Aaron Award, and Quintana won a Cy Young. Okay, okay. So we definitely had some pretty solid pitchers this season. Strasburg in like half a season had a 2.61 ERA. Well, it was about three quarters of a season. 2.61 ERA, low walks, decent strikeouts, 8.5 year, 8.5 win record. Not a bad year. That that's a good that's a good season for about two thirds of a season. Definitely a two six one ERA, phenomenal. Quintana, three three six ERA is not bad. Seventeen and five. That's that's those are some good numbers. I'm okay with those. Tyler Anderson, just above a three ERA with a thirteen and nine record. Good walk numbers, good strikeout numbers. I'm okay with that. Joe Ross, um, he's hitting that eighty mark, so I wish his ERA was a little bit lower, but. Coming from a 4.3 to a 3.9, I'll take that for ERA. Um, let's see if his runs went down. Um, his runs were about the same. And uh, his walks and strikeouts, his strikeouts went up, which is good. Um, and he kept his walks the same, even though he pitched about 20 innings more. And Jeremy Hellickson, um, ERA is a little high, but he pitched almost 200 innings. Um, runs, runs are kind of high, but to be honest, 200 innings, 62 walks, 140 strikeouts, not not horrible. He's a five starter. ERA is probably going to be around the fours anyways, so not not bad at all. Um, Sonny Gray, not 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 horrible. That's not horrible. That's that's a decent year. Kyle Crick's an 81. Um, his ERA is a little bit higher than I wish, but hopefully that'll improve. Sammy Solis is starting to go down a little bit, but still. Not a not a terrible season. Archie Bradley um, definitely turned it around second half of the season. You can see he had a pretty similar year, um, but added some more strikeouts. Um, okay, Coda Glover is still kind of around that mid 70s mark. Um, Kelvin Herrera definitely had a solid season, and Sean Doolittle had a good year as well. So we had our little one-two punch of Herrera and Doolittle. Looking at the lineup. Max Muncy is down to an 86, even though I don't think he was an 86 at the beginning of the year. I think the big thing for him was being injured throughout most of the season. Um, Jonathan Scope's an 87. We definitely need to bring him back. 31 homers, 112 ribbies, and a 300 average. 
Bryce Harper is a monster. Um, 42 homers, 118 ribbies, like 351 average. Paul DeYoung hit 289 with 34 homers, 106 ribbies. Whew. Mitch Hanniger, 82. I mean, still not a bad season. Tyler Austin's a 78 now, which is good to see. He hit 18 homers and 67 RBIs. Juan Soto, improving, improving. Narvaez is improving as well. And David Bodie, his potential's gone down, but um, he's still, still a decent little player. Bench player, that's basically what I'm using him for. Victor Robles is up to a 74. Pedro Severino's going up in rating. And Wilmer Defoe's kind of hovering around that high 70s. Quickly looking at some of the prospects. Fetty's around the 74 mark. Um, Romero's around the 73. So he he had a big season this year. Um, Will Crow jumped up a little bit as well. Mason uh, Denneberg, 67. Okay. Um, anybody down here? Miguel Zavala, which I remember drafting him. He looks decent already and then looking at the rest of the squad Hiroki Tomori we picked up in free agency got a got some good fielding for a first baseman um let's see who else Robert Fitzgerald 54 meh Carter Keyboom's now a 70 okay um Stevenson's a 74 okay okay Victor Mesa is a 67 and Daniel Johnson's a 68 so we got some decent little players there so let's uh let's see who we're gonna be taking on we're taking on colorado game one we won game two we won game three was a pretty easy pretty easy one too so going against the dodgers i'm going to move the pitching back i think it said joe ross was going all right let's uh let's move that let's move it real quick okay 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 so now it should be steven strasberg versus kershaw not the best game we did get the second game. The third game we lost. And ooh, this one's this one's an elimination one. Okay. We we, we gotta win this. We can't. We can't lose. We're gonna let Strasburg go. Um we're going against a lefty. Yikes. Um I want the young leading off. And then We're going against the lefty. So really the only one I'm considering taking out is Muncie, which I'm going to do just to let Wilmer Diffo go yeah I'm gonna do that yeah 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 I'm gonna do that all right let's do this De Jong grounds out scope strikes out and Harper strikes not the best start not Steven Strasburg's getting lit up what is going on like you're my ace and you're getting just three runs in the first and we had the best record in um the majors this year like what is maybe i should have put out quintana like he's done like i i just you know what? i'll let him pitch let him pitch the pitcher but he's i just what's going on what is going on We're not getting any hits either. Like, we're getting shut down. We got absolutely smacked. Like I was just so silent because we just we just got shut out. And that's the season. The Dodgers defeated the Yankees. Like that's cool and all, but we just got absolutely smacked. How? We were the only team to win a game against the Dodgers. So, like, they were good, but come on. We were so much better. We had the best record in the majors by, like, 10 games. And we couldn't. Steven Strasburg, man, you you really let the team down on that one. Let's hop into Season 3. Let's see if we can, we can get to the World Series this time. Because we have the team to do it. 
we just we we need we need to win all right we brought jonathan scope back for a pretty long contract that was a pretty big contract as well i think that's going to be like the re really the only player we're going to be able to bring back um there was someone else that we had available oh sunny gray i'm going to bring him back he had a pretty decent year with us um that was another exclusive negotiation that we had um let's go through contracts real quick arbitration will go to I don't know if we'll give it to everybody. Let me think about this for a sec. Alrighty, as much as I want to keep Wilmer Defoe, we have a first baseman that was drafted by the CPU last year who's up to like a 72 or 73 already. And he's a pretty versatile first baseman, so we can use him. Plus, we do have David Bodie. So I'm going to give these guys arbitration. Looking at the contracts, they're all going to be youngsters. So I'm not really interested in showing you those. And um, so once I start making moves in the offseason, I'll let you guys know what's going on. All right, to start the season, we're going to go with Jose Alvarado, a lefty, almost 80 overall for Sammy Solis and Coda Glover. Um, Sammy Solis is decreasing in rating a little bit, so I would rather have another lefty that can help us out in the bullpen. So there's the one trade. I also kind of want to find a fifth starter. So let me see if I can do that. All right, the trade we found for a starting pitcher is going to be Lance McCullers of the Astros. I'm a little worried about his walks per nine um, and his control. That usually kind of hurts um, in a sim style franchise, but we'll, we'll have to give it a shot. See how it goes. We're getting rid of Hiroki Tomori as well as Jeremy Hellickson and Eric Fetty. So that's... I think the only trades I want to make because that kind of solidifies the squad. I mean, there's no reason for us to go outside and get another starter. Our starting rotation looks very, very nice. The bullpen looks good as well. Um, Alvarado's the lowest one. I think we have a spot that we can bring up a pitcher. Ooh, we maybe need a, a bullpen arm. We might need a bullpen arm. Yeah, we might need a bullpen arm. So this is this is the squad. Um, this is the second season draft pick from the CPU. He looks really good. He could play second and left as well as first. Um, we got Carter Keyboom up, Severino Robles, and this is the squad. It's looking it's looking really good. I'm liking the way this squad looks. Tyler Austin is looking like a little bit better. Hanniger, DeYoung, Harper, Scope. It's looking good. It's looking good. So maybe we need to find a um, another bullpen arm. So let me see if I can do that. We're going for Addison Reed of the Twins here. 86 overall. Had a pretty good couple last seasons. Jose Sanchez is out the door along with Drew Cadamer. Um, he's a catcher. And then Daniel Johnson, a uh, right field prospect. So this is the bullpen arm. I think is definitely going to solidify what, you know, what what we're looking like. I'm, feel, I'm feeling like this is, this is some good stuff now. We're looking good well-rounded got some good pitching we got some good lineup bats i'm feeling really good about season three this should be the season let's get into it see you guys at trade deadline day already looking at the draft picks from the cpu a 51 overall left fielder pedro benitez with 89 potential so the cpu is actually doing work this time alex zapata 51 overall left fielder with 81 potential um buddy sanchez 74 overall and he's got a 78 potential and then Al Alberto Hidalgo, 75 potential, 58 overall. So I know this is the last season. I'll sign him up anyways. Um, we're 10 games in the front. Jeez. We're 10 games ahead in the East, 67 and 42. Um, we're doing pretty solid. Um, no injuries, luckily. Um, currently, we, we've, had, uh, we've had a couple. Um, Strasburg. Okay, okay, okay. You know, pitching. Okay, um, definitely Alvarado's doing good. Bradley's doing good. Reed, maybe Herrera needs to move out of that spot. Maybe move Bradley there. Looking at the lineups, Soto's at 86. Hanniger's gone up to 85. Harper's almost a 99 now. Whoops. 87 for DeYoung. Jeez, Scope's an 85. Muncie's an 87. Tyler Austin's hit the 80 mark. Narvaez has hit the 80 mark. David Bodie's almost at the 80 mark. Um, and then we brought up Stevenson, who's a 77, Robles is a 74, Severino is a 75, and then that first baseman is actually looking pretty nice. Um, his average isn't that great, but 
stats wise looking pretty good i mean the team's looking good at the deadline day i don't what do we do i think i'm just gonna leave it um i'm gonna leave it i i, I trust this team this team's looking good let's uh like this lineup is deadly holy cow this is this is a good looking lineup this might be like just a power hitting lineup so i'm gonna leave it let's get into it let's see how the rest of the season goes um this was kind of like that make or break season we really should make the playoffs again and we really should push for a world series so hopefully we do it i'll see you guys at the end of the season all right we finished 94 and 68 and we won our division we're taking on the brewers so let's see how everything worked out so you can see the dodgers had the best record in the nl so they're gonna be a, a very difficult team to go against de young and bryce harper ripped the cover off the ball um let's see what it was wilmer defoe had the most at bats um for the marlins but scope had a lot of at bats let's see doubles no bryce harper had seven triples um home runs de young had 40 home runs scope had 33 how many did harper have 27 a little bit of a down year but still okay de Jong had 114 rb de Jong is like a musket in franchise like he's just too good even jonathan scope had a pretty solid season bryce harper had some runs okay okay um awards paul de Jong mvp yeah for sure uh, harper had the hank aaron award and gold gloves for tyler anderson and mitch Hanniger. holy cow paul de Jong. all right so let's look at pitching um steven strasburg pitched about 50 more innings this year had a winning record again um a couple more walks some more strikeouts but again this is this is a, a nice looking season this is definitely a nice looking season tyler anderson um not not a bad season either definitely not a bad season you know a 3-2 era that's 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 a respectable era um mccullers pretty similar to last year like very comparable to last year a little bit higher era but still not a horrible not a horrible era um quintana a respectable era three two great great numbers very similar to last year and joe ross joe ross again there's that five spot he's got he's gonna have a little bit higher era sunny gray kind of a bounce back year from last year in terms of um you know his walks went down his era era went down um, his hits allowed went down with similar runs. Um, Kyle Crick's still around that 81 mark. He's got A potential now, but he had less ERA, um, less walks, and a lot more strikeouts in about, and actually less innings than last year. Alvarado's still at that 79 mark, but a three ERA is a respectable one. Kelvin Herrera, not, not too bad. Not as good as last year, but still pretty solid. Addison Reed still holding his overall a 2.5 era is great archie bradley a 3.29 era so it's gone up but he's uh he pitched 82 innings this year so that's that's a that's a, a big chunk of um innings and then you can see 44 saves for doolittle doolittle proved me wrong i was expecting him to decrease in rating but man he has been outstanding so juan soto hasn't i mean he's 88 overall but his era or his era his average isn't that high it's 257 which isn't bad um but it's not great three 350 on base percentage is nice so mitch hanniger is finally hitting his stride he's up to an 86 almost 300 on the year so there we go that's the right fielder i was looking for when i traded for him bryce harper is in the is in the 99 club definite home run and ribbies decrease but still a 305 average is very respectable paul de Jong, holy cow is he a monster 40 home runs 114 ribbies, 287 average, 354 on base percentage. He's a monster. Jonathan Scope is a monster too. 33 homers, 96 ribbies. Um, good numbers. Tyler Austin, he had his best season ever, which is good to see. Max Muncy still around that 86 mark. He had his best season ever. Narvaez, 300 on the year. Okay, I'll, and you're an 84 overall. David Bodie's still 77. He's pretty consistent where he's at. 78 for Andrew Stevenson. So he's developing. Victor Robles is up to a 75. He didn't have that great of a hitting season. Pedro Severino and Peter Drew. The CPU drafted this guy and he looks like he's going to be an absolute 
animal so those that's the squad there Seth Romero is down here he looks like he'll be decent in a couple seasons same with Will Crow Mason Denneberg as well um Miguel Zavala who we drafted in the first season looks like he's looking pretty solid 72 overall already um I kind of want to add him to the playoff roster can we he wasn't eligible okay um anybody else anybody else anybody else um i sent K carter Keyboom down because he just wasn't doing too well in the majors but he's up to a 72 um david pedroso 69 victor victor mesa 67 um but yeah the team turned out very good um again this is a team that you have to worry about contract management so let's see how this series goes game one we win game two we lost game three we won game four we lost so oh my, you gotta be kidding me like we're really gonna get knocked out if we lose like <sighs> i want strasburg to pitch the next game so that's why i'm gonna let um ross go so a good first inning okay not the best first inning for us um paul de young scope and austin go one two three Oh, we got thrown out at home. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Bunt him over. Okay. Runner in scoring position. Only one out. We can't take advantage of it. Why? We're down two to nothing now. <sighs> Hanniger singles. Harper. Harper brings us back. There we go. Double play. Okay. But that's okay. We're back in it. We're back in it. We got the walk. You can see, again, runner in scoring position, one out. Can we take advantage of it this time? Hanniger, bases, Harper, fielder's choice. Anthony Rizzo, why would you go to Milwaukee? Travis Shaw is killing me. I should have taken Ross out there. Okay, okay. Okay, we get one back. We're going to pinch hit. We're facing a righty. Um... I think I want to save Drew, so maybe Robles. Robles? No, we'll go Stevenson here. Hmm, broad and lefty, double play. Not not the best outcome. Alvarado, double. One run scores. Okay, okay. Fly out. Pop up, single Harper, singles De Jong right here, home run, home run right here, ground out. Come on. Okay, come on, scope bottom. Oh wait, yeah, bottom eight. We need this. We need this. Okay. No. No. Come on. Like, why? Why, guys? Why? Last chance. All right. We're bringing in Drew. He strikes out Soto, doubles. Hanniger strikes out Harper. How? How? That's frust that is super frustrating because this team is really good. Like, this is such a good team. I don't get it. Like this is. I should have went with Strasburg, but ah, uh, man, that's that's disappointing. I like this team a lot. I really do. I think this is like Soto, even Hanniger performed pretty well in the postseason. Harper's a monster. De Young's a monster. Scope. Like, this is a good team. This is a really good team. Um, like, Austin's 28, Scope's 28, DeYoung 26, Harper 27, Hanniger 29. Like, there's still a good two, three years in this squad before, like, people start hitting 20. And you have to start worrying about age. But this team is good. Like, this is a really good team. The pitching rotation. Strasburg still got some years ahead of him. Anderson's still got some years. Quintana still. 
McCullers, plenty of years. Joe Ross, plenty of years. McGray probably got, or McGray. Gray's probably got like three or four. Crick's got plenty. Alvarado's got plenty. Herrera's 30. Reed's 31. Bradley's 30 or 27. Like this team is set for so many years going forward. And I really wish this year we would have pushed a lot farther for a, like in the playoffs and gotten to the World Series. So I hope you guys enjoyed this rebuild. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. And also, what, you got, what would you guys have done differently? Let me know any trades or any players you would have kept or um, what you guys thought about some of the players that I got. So let me know. Give me your, you know, your, your input down below in the comment section below. Also, you know what to do. Let me know some other teams you want to be um, rebuilt as well as some challenges. And uh, let's let's hit let's aim for a hundred likes on this video. You guys have been absolutely smashing it on the rebuilds, and I got like I said, we only have like seven or eight more teams to do after after the Nationals. So I hope I can uh, push them out and get them all done before September's over. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. As usual, I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.